The term is used in order to distinguish man sales from fem sales, trans sales, and inter sales, which that's another conversation. Uh, this differentiation this differentiation is useful because man sales often face unique issues that distinguishes from near sales, which it's a lot of sales. I know it's kind of hard to keep up, but this is why terminology and the internet exists so we can get um, definitions. The culture, norms, and hunches that permeate the fem cell communities are referred to as fem seldom. The most notice, notable fence, uh, this is a fictional character in X Men uh, by Rogue. I guess in culture, those hyper focus hyper focusing on looks decided that a fem cell is a two. Really, rogue mm -hmm. is no two. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Okay, is a two on the D -sile scale? A D -sile scale is a one to ten scale. Oh, really? So I no, so I get it. I get it. If they were holding this uh this example to the character rogue. Uh, again, because a lot of characters, uh, even outside, she could she could date or whatever. But given her type of power, is that she would she could eventually she could be essentially kill you through touch or kiss. It didn't make her desirable to be around a lot of people, and because of her touch and kiss, she also uh, walled herself off from getting into relationships with people because she the damage that she could also do. Okay, all right, I can accept that. Um, just below the fem cellish woman, however, in seldom is not actually that much related to the looks. Nonetheless, she isn't at the bottom of the totem pole as fem cells tend to mog, manage to open or well, one up. The true fem cell woman in looks, social status, and overall charm. Fem cells are commonly seen as vol cells since they can easily get sex, except in rare and unusual circumstances. Okay, no problem. Got that right. out well. So now that Robbie's up here, let me ask Robbie really quick. So Robbie, your perspective or what has been introduced to you as far as the definition or the perspective of what a incel is? And also Yvette says hello and she sends hearts, Robbie. Hi, Yvette. I'm over here just doing some work in while I'm talking to y'all. Um, yeah, incels are people that don't have sex, you know, in this space. The term is so much broader though. Like there's 150 million definitions, so I'm so confused, but I'm glad you guys are having this conversation to add some clarity. Um, all in all, I mean, what can you really say? I don't, I don't necessarily believe in any of this terminology. I think people are struggling with mental health issues I think people are just socially awkward. And I think if people actually took some time to work on themselves and their communication skills, they wouldn't necessarily have such an issue getting into relationships. I also think the present state of like discussion that people are having is detrimental to the overall social archetype of relationships in the global community. Because what they're doing is they're taking people that are easily influenced and brainwashing them to be afraid. If you get in a relationship, a woman's gonna take all your money. If you get in with a woman, if you get into a relationship with a man, he's gonna abuse you. Oh, he's going to cheat. Oh, this, oh, that, oh, the third. Nobody is really having the real conversations about the positive aspects of relationships at all. It's almost as if that's a mirage or a fairy tale and it can never happen. So if you have people that are already having challenges, interacting and talking to people, they have their own self-esteem issues and their personal fears, it just makes it that much harder for them to press on and press forward. So... I don't think anything is like holding anybody back except for their personal experience and their ability to self-express. Really quick before we move on, I'd like to welcome to the stage Tommy B. Tommy B, hello. How you doing, G? Uh, what's up with you, man? Nothing much, nothing much. Uh, before I get to you, I do want to read a comment really quick Uh, right here. Thank you. Uh, Osman, what's happening, my guy? 
Osman says, I would rather just go back to the original definition of incel. And you know what? Uh, when it comes to the complexities of a definition of a term or a label, I understand that it can be misun uh it can be confusing because there's so much and wrapped up in it. And then he says, uh, having these individual definitions just made it more and more confusing. Richard, I heard you. You can go ahead. Yeah, I, yeah, I got, I got to go. It's like 11, 11 p.m. Oh, over here. I'm so sorry. sorry. But you know what, Rich? Yeah. I am so grateful for yeah. you coming up. And whenever you want to come up and have this conversation, yeah. we definitely can. But I do want to show appreciation okay. to you for coming by.